And we're going to start with Tom and Joe Gray. Joe and Tom Gray, Tampa, Florida. I was a dispatcher in the trucking industry, and he was a Verizon technician. Uh, Antonio Lockett, Tampa, Florida. I was an EMT, and my wife uh, is a pediatrician. Chris Daly, Tampa, Florida. I was a football player, outside sales, and she's in healthcare administration. This is Lisa. Matthew Case, representing the aviators out of Tampa, Florida. I was very long before this. Jasmine Hatch, I'm in Wild, Georgia, representing the aviators, and I was an accountant. Margaret Dixon, representing GW, and I was a cook. Jeff and Diana Sign, I uh, moved to Massachusetts, and um, I was a comprehensive sexuality educator. Wait, you flew in here tonight, we, right, or yesterday from? We missed our we missed our flight this Today. morning. We're <laughs> here from Massachusetts. Well, we have to go around. Yeah. Yeah. We're Jay and Lisa Clifford. Uh, we're from Tampa, Florida, and we were we are veterinarians. Or used to be veterinarian for me, and she still is. So I used to learn from RVB machine. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! And I used to work at the warehouse making uh, $15 per hour. Mm -hmm. Hilton and Kay Davis from Orlando, former teacher, former accountant. Woo! James and Janon Fertil, Miami, Florida, UPS driver and nurse. <laughs> Oh, Justin and Vanetta Felton, Orlando, Florida, uh, former chief of staff to an elected official and registrar. <laughs> Joe Malley Sasanya, former uh, military and uh, former government employee. <laughs> from Tampa. <laughs> Rez Verdi from Orlando, Florida, used to be a sales associate and now SVP. <laughs> Emmanuel Okoye representing the aviators. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, former students. Willis and Jeanette Wright, former military representing the aviators out of Atlanta, Georgia. Woo! All right, Sock Bosset! Uh, Eric and Brian uh, representing the aviator hierarchy, uh, football player, and uh, social worker. Judy Nikki Pietro and Quill for the RBB Machine Number 4! Uh, former IT professionals, you know, she used to be in the hospitality industry. Ronald and Gurleyan, former manager assistant and former teacher. Woo! Natasha Muniz, uh, representing Aviators High. Represent RVP Machine from one of the Florida, former pharmacy technician, former tech. Jim Kenson, I saw a former taxi driver, then I turned Florida. Rashmi Samdi from RVP Machine, former um, nursing student. Tyler Smith is in the lead. Yeah. The office will represent the Warriors. All right, and our office is in Indianapolis, Indiana, as of a week ago. And uh, she was a college graduate who never had a job, and I was a college dropout. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got from Atlanta, from Georgia, right? You guys just came from Massachusetts. What other states? Any other states? The rest of y'all in Florida? Yes. Okay, well, listen, guys. Business is built beyond just the Central Florida area here, and these guys represent it. So, you might be wondering why they're on stage. Well, over the past uh, 15 months since we've been together, each one of these uh, folks you see on stage has received a promotion, a special promotion. And so we reached out to our company CEO, who's got a message for each one of them.
I join you today at the Tampa Bay Leadership School. I'm Glenn Williams, the CEO of Primerica, and I want to start out by congratulating you for plugging in to this great event. It's probably one of the first times you've been able to come together as a group at Primerica, or maybe in any group, in a long, long time, so I know it's special. And I know you have some superstar field leaders addressing you today. I've seen the lineup of speakers. You've got the best of the best. They'll be sharing information and inspiration with you that can lead to transformation. So I want to encourage you to listen today with both an open mind and an open heart. It'll make a big difference in your life and in your business. You know, these are such special times in our company at Primerica. We're a 44-year-old company. We've been a public company now for over 11 years. And that means we've been around long enough to pretty much have seen it all. We've seen every economic disruption, every regulatory change. We've even been through the pandemic now, as all of you have. And we're still here and still fighting. That gives us a track record of stability that I believe is important in the business world today. But more important than how long we've been around is how successful we are and the fact that our greatest success is occurring right now at Primerica. You know, we're experiencing more success today than we have at any point in our company's four decade plus history. And I want you to just recognize how important that is. Just think about this in the last two months, just in March and April, we've shattered every production record we have at Primerica. In the month of April, it was our largest month ever in protecting middle-income families with term life insurance. We placed in force over $11.5 billion of protection just in the month of April, our biggest month ever. You know, in March, it was our first time ever assisting our clients with investing over a billion dollars for their futures in a single month. We set a record in March, and then we did it again in April. And so when you think about that and think about the fact that even our new mortgage program that's just getting off the ground set records in both March and April, you recognize that it's a unique time in our company right now. But in spite of these records, we know that more families than ever are underinsured, underinvested, and over in debt. And that means the need for what we do is bigger today than it's ever been before in our history. And in spite of all of those needs, we know that what families need most, what individuals need most, is a better opportunity for a better future. We're setting records in this area too. You know, in the month of April, we paid our sales force over a hundred million dollars of cash compensation for the first time ever in our company's history. And for the last 12 months, we paid our sales force over a billion dollars in cash compensation. Ooh. We've never done that before in our history. That means that our leaders are achieving record success. You know, my great teammate, Julie Seaman, just uh, called out the names for recognition of leaders at this event that achieved new income milestones since the last event you had. And I'm so proud of them, and I want to add my congratulations to all of yours for that great recognition they received. But now it's time for me to help recognize a different group, a group that's stepping up in the leadership ranks. This next group of leaders has earned their promotions to regional vice president and senior vice president since the last event that was held here in May. And so as I call out their names, I want you to help me. I want you to uh, make sure as they step forward and wave at you that you congratulate them, you cheer from them. I'll move slowly enough that they get the recognition they deserve for this great accomplishment of becoming a regional vice president and a senior vice president at Primary. So our first two brand new MVPs come from the David and Don Harris Base Shop. Let's congratulate new MVPs Chris and Lisa David. Shop. New regional vice president John Francois. 
Now we get to the RVPs. We promoted from the Jason and Jackie Ortiz Bay Shop. Let's congratulate Tony and Roxanne Lockett. Next up, we promote from the Jonathan Smith Bay Shop, new regional vice presidents Hilton and Kay Davis. Our next new regional vice president. Put your hands together from the Merlin and Maxine Pascal Gabriel Bay Shop, new regional vice presidents Janan and James Bertillo. Next up, from the Randy and Lori Buckman Bay Shop, new regional vice presidents Myrtle and Patrick Dixon. Now, coming up is new RVPs from the Rob and Sherry Smith Bay Shop. Put your hands together for Jay and Lisa Clifford. Next up, we have four brand new regional vice presidents, all promoted from the Resty and Lori Birdie Bay Shop. So let's congratulate all four of these couples, starting with new RVPs, Savvy and Marlene Sanal. Also from the Birdie Bay Shop, new regional vice president, Rasheen Samedi. Again, from the Birdie Bay Shop, new regional vice presidents, Jude and Nikki Pierre Tranquilla. New regional vice presidents Angie and Nathan Charles. Continuing our RVP recognition from the Todd Grant Bay Shop, let's congratulate Justin and Vanetta Felton. From the Tennessee and Bay Shop, new regional vice presidents Ronald and Lillian Sanchez. From the Tyler and Samantha Zimmerly Bay Shop, being promoted to RVP and recognized today, let's congratulate Matt and Nicole Parker. Both from the Willis and Jeanette Wright Bay Shop, new regional vice president Jasmine Hatch, and new regional vice presidents Nancy and Amanda Okoye. So, folks, that's the case. Give them all a little huge round of applause right now as we celebrate the accomplishments of the new regional vice president. And next up, we want to recognize senior vice presidents, the new senior vice presidents that have achieved that level since the last event here in Lakeland. Uh, let's congratulate, uh, first of all, down the line, the first two from the great Ed Devon Ortiz team. First of all, second generation of Americans, new SVPs, Eric and Brent Ortiz. And we also from the Ortiz team, New senior vice presidents, Willis and Jeanette Wright. Congratulations to those two new SVPs for the Ortiz team. Next SVP, coming from the Jeff and Rachel Seagrave team. Congratulations to new senior vice presidents, Tyler and Samantha Zimmerly. New SVPs on the Scott and Betsy Pinker team. Let's congratulate senior vice presidents, Randy and Lori Ruckman. And then finally, as you can imagine, the long list of RVP promotions I just read, from the Teshler and Garrison Act team, new senior vice president, Ressi and Lori Verde. that are being recognized today. If you would, put your hands together for all the leaders that have been recognized. And we're going to continue with all that. Congratulations. You know, America is a special company because we change lives. Every client, every family that we encounter, and also our teammates and their families. These RVPs and SVPs that we've recognized today are evidence of change lives and they're great examples of success. They're role models for all of us. They're role models that show us if they can win, you can win. And I want you to know that, that I hope that you will use this event to begin a transformation. You see, I said it was about information and inspiration that can lead to transformation. Begin a transformation today that changes you and changes the course of history for your family. Let's give all those RVPs and SVPs You guys ready? All right, you guys grab a seat. RVPs come to the front, line the whole front. We'll give a quick photo off, and then we're gonna grab our seats. Congratulations, the line all the way across the front. All the way across. All the way across. Okay, keep on going, pass the TV, guys. Keep on going. I 
in front of me here, right? Get on camera. Alright, here is our new RVP team for 2020 and 2021. Let's give them a little round of applause. Congratulations guys, congratulations, great, great job.